get into this debate. Great speech. Very good speech. I'll call Priyanka Radhakrishnan. Thank you, Madam Chair. It is indeed, it is an honour, actually, to stand up and take a call to summarise this bill. Um, it is a bill that will strengthen accountability in the tertiary education system. It's a bill that will provide for consistent treatment of the tertiary education providers, organisations, and it will broaden student protection arrangements. And I outline these for a specific reason. I came to this country as an international student myself. This is a sector that I understand intimately. And it is a sector that for many hasn't really worked. I want to begin actually by addressing some of the comments made by members uh, from the opposite side of the House, which I actually take umbrage to. Firstly, members opposite, specifically the member Denise Lee, has talked about the fact that private is not a dirty word. And to a large extent I agree, but I will tell you why for many it actually is. Private providers, she says, are doing such a good job in contributing to New Zealand's economic landscape. Now, I want to deal with this sensitively because there are many who do. However, there are many others who don't and who have actually been caught out. I mean, if you look online in about two minutes, you'll find at least 10 names of private providers who have been dodgy. I will broaden it out because there are specific parts of this bill that address that and that's why it's important. Now the, the member, uh, the Honourable Nikki Kay, sort of threw around the word ideology and we are actually proud of the ideology that underpins a lot of what we do on this, part, on this side of the House. It is a system of ideas and ideals that form the basis of policy and that explain how society works. And that's exactly why we have prioritised public education over private. Um, it is actually, um, and I had, a, I had a really good quote here which, I, which I've just lost, but it's actually um, the fact that education is a human right and a public good has underpinned global public policy since the 1940s. It's not something that's new, but it's something that remains incredibly important. And now the specific parts of the bill that I just wanted to draw attention to, and the reason I do this is because of the number of years I have spent talking to international students who have come here, who, had, who have been rotted by the system, who have come here because they think that they're going to get a specific deal from certain private providers, and they don't. Many who come here and find themselves in positions where they are barely able to feed themselves, who have come out and who rely on the goodwill of people from the New Zealand community, to actually survive. Now, members across from the opposite, opposite side of the bill, uh, the, the House, have accused us of spending time on this bill because we're a dysfunctional government. They have said that we've been forced to stand up and speak to this bill. They've said that questions and comments or points that we raise on this side of the house are trivi trivial of nature. I tell you, for the hundreds of students who have been exploited in this country, they are not trivial. It's about their well-being, it's about their safety, it's about their lives. And I remind you that while we are here elected to serve the people of New Zealand, we have a duty of care to those we invite to this country. Members on that side of the House have systematically, in the best case scenario, referred to these people as cash cows and, in the worst instance, as faulty Point fridges. Of order. Point of order. This Point bill will tighten that up. Uh, Madam Speaker, to my knowledge, there is no one on this side who has ever referred to any foreign student in this country as being a cash cow. The real question is, why is that member supporting a party that wants to shut the door okay. to immigrants Thank in this you. country? Thank you. Thank you, members. Oh, Barbara Kerrigan. Now put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question is that Clause 1 stand part. All those in favour say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question is that Clause 2 stand part. All those in favour say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. 
The question is that Clause 3 stand part. All those in favour say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. I will report this bill with amendment presently. Members, we now turn we turn now to the custom and excise.